So happy weekend to everybody. I also want to I want to congratulate all my friends in the Grammys, all who had the in the ballots and the Grammy ballots who got nominated today. So congratulations to all of them. The ones who didn't, you guys were on the ballots, which is great in its own right. So congrats on that. And all the WOA artists who were on the ballots, you had exceptional recordings, which is why you got on the ballots. So congrats. You know, don't be disappointed that you didn't get to the next round. Only four or five can get to the next round per category, so it's okay. And to everyone tuning in, all my fans, we're going to do a few blues songs today. Okay, today is my blues jam session. So I'm going to do some of my original blues and some of my covers that I have actually recorded my versions of that you can actually see, listen to on Apple Music, YouTube Music. Those are the two that I recommend. Okay, right. Let's do this. I I did try to go live on TikTok, but my cameras are not really set up for that. But let's let's do that next time. <clears throat> Let's do this. I'm plugged in today to my amplifier, so uh, it's not completely unplugged. Unplugged, but sort of not unplugged. Okay, <laughs> so right. Let's do this. actually uh, the I like it album my very first album and then we had a garage sessions sort of live uh, recording that we did in, in Far Heat Studios in Northampton uh, uh, that's my favorite version the new version okay so go check it out on Apple music YouTube music wherever you listen to your music just look for Oliver Sean tonight or look for tonight garage sessions unplugged version and you can check it out I love the I love the drumming that Simon did on that you know my drummer Simon and, and Darren played the wonderful bass on that song but today, just uh, the reason I'm doing all the all these blues songs is because I'm working on a blues album. Uh, the, 
Well, there is another album I'm working on called Songs for Blue, which is for my dog. So there'll be an album, all this, this full album will be full of songs for my dog Blue, okay? But that's not a blues album. But there's another blues album that I'm working on. <clears throat> Gotta put the guitar volume down a bit. Now this song is called uh, Turn Around, okay? It's, a, it's a, like a naughty song. It's a very old song of mine that we've redone and uh, We've got uh, drums and, and bass all recorded and everything, so uh, I'm just going to do like a short sort of unplugged version of this. And uh, oh, I see a lot of people uh, tuning into Instagram. I can't really see all the, the messages properly, but I can see the names popping up. On uh, Facebook, unfortunately, I've got to look through the mirror to see who's tuned in. But uh, I can't see the Instagram guys, so I'm gonna I'm gonna shout out to you guys. Melody's here, Juice is here, a lot of WOA artists are here. Great, great to see the WOA artists joining in. I love you guys. And um, uh, uh, Melanie, congrats on on the ballots, so uh, the Grammy ballots. And uh, you didn't make it to the second round, no worries. But you're lost in you. Great song. Uh, Juice, the Black Beethoven is online as well. His brand new album hit number one on the charts. I'm just, I just love promoting my WOA artists, okay? They're like, they mean so much to me. So, <laughs> rock and roll, guys, rock and roll. All right, so this is a song called Turn Around and Bend a Little. So it's, it's a very naughty song, so if you're under 18, don't, don't listen to it. Well, actually, you can, it's fine. <laughs> Unplugged, but this is a proper sort of I need the rhythm backing so I can do a guitar solo But I just sort of tried to jam it up for you just to give you an idea of what the song is about Okay, I hope you like it uh, if you want to listen to the original version of this song Just uh, look for the I like it album and uh, check out the original. It's very old-school. It was recorded back in 1999 2000 2001 maybe you know when I wrote it I was like 19 or 18 or 17 I don't even remember and <laughs> listen to that version and then get ready to listen to a very modern 2024 20, sort of uh, blues rock version of this song. It's coming up soon. Right. <laughs> right, what other blues songs can I sing for you guys today? Uh, actually, let me, let me use my, where is the thingy gone? I'm looking for my capo. I thought I had it. It's disappeared. Give me a second. Oh, there it is. It was under the camera. <laughs> right, so check out this beautiful capo that I got from Thalia Capos with my name on it and everything. Special one made specially for me. Thanks, guys. Okay, let's, how do you use this? Let's let this here. So, I'm gonna put that here. Right. <laughs> this is a D scale guitar, okay? So it's, um, it's tuned to 
like one scale lower, one note lower, not half a note lower, one note lower. So, so when I want to sing on standard concert pitch, I need to use a capo for this. But this is one of my favorite songs by Eric Clapton. So, uh, ponytail suits you. Oh, thank you very much, mom. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a ponytail. I'm, I'm basically I'm dressed up to go out on my holly uh, in a couple of minutes, so I thought I'd just do a live session before I go for a ride. So anyway, this is a, a before you accuse me. Uh, this version of this song that I did actually hit the charts. My version, okay. So if you do if you do get a chance to listen to it, please listen to it. It's available everywhere. Uh, you know, um, Facebook, Instagram. You can like look for music and you can check this song out. My version of. Uh, um, before you accuse me by Eric Clapton. But let's do it. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. You say I'm spending my money on other women. You're taking money for someone else. Ago. I called your mama a three four nights ago. Well, your mama said, son, look on the daughter of a Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. Before you accuse me, take a look at yourself. From someone else. Come on back home, baby. Try my love one more time. Come on back home, baby. Try my love one more time. You know things aren't gonna suit you. I'm gonna lose my mind. Before you accuse me. You see, you're spending money on other women. You're taking money from someone else. Woo! Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, I love doing that with the band, actually. I like doing that. But I remember doing it one time on the beach. So there was this uh, this group of guys, all these. From different different countries, they were just sitting uh, at a beach shack and they were jamming at this place called Benalim Beach, which is in Goa, you know. So I went there with, uh, I think I was riding with my cousin, and we went down there late night, and these guys were jamming and uh, didn't have a clue I was around. And I was like, and, and all of a sudden, one of the the waiters or the manager of the guy, Oliver, hey man, can you do with your song or whatever? So I'm like, okay, see if they can give me the guitar. And then I just sang this for the first time ever because I just heard it. Uh, on the radio or something. This is way back, okay? I, and it was uh, Eric Clapton's Unplugged, MTV Unplugged album had just come out. And I'd heard this song and I was just in love with uh, this version of it, the unplugged version of it. And I said, yeah, let's let's try it. And the first time ever I did it on that beach sort of gig, just a jam. And people just loved it. They wouldn't let me stop. <laughs> so I recorded it now, years later. And it hit the charts in, in different countries on Apple Music, on iTunes Music. It's all because of you guys, all the fans, you know, who, who stream the song, who download the song. So please keep doing that. Please keep doing that, okay? That's that's what all that matters, you know. That if you guys like what I'm doing, that's all that matters, really. Right. <clears throat> this is uh, one of my absolute favorite songs. I've been doing this since I was... Uh, I don't know, 16, 15 years old, maybe maybe younger. Actually, since I was 13 years old when I first joined my first sort of commercial band called The Knights, K-N-I-G-H-T-S, you know, The Knights. And we were like a wedding band and we do parties and beach shows and uh, festivals and things like that. And <clears throat> uh, they would call me the young Jim Morrison, like, you know, a reincarnation of Jim Morrison because uh, I had my... 
I still had the same hairstyle, you know, the long hair and everything. And when I was at MTV as a VJ, uh, they'd put up on all these advertisements that would come out on, on a daily basis on these billboards and everything. Uh, the reincarnation of Jim Morrison, you know, <laughs> and they put my, my face there and everything. So, but, but rather than that, it's, it's his music, it's his songwriting that I just love. So, here it goes. Let's get the volume down. It's one of my favorite songs, and uh, you get to hear it live, direct. I mean, this is the only way I, I've realized now uh, for all my fans to, or fans, friends, family, to watch me live, unplugged, just uh, sitting with a guitar. You either watch me li on, on my Instagram and Facebook when I go live, or you wait till I launch my new venue, which I'm doing soon. <clears throat> yeah, so I'm announcing it today. So. We are working on launching a very beautiful sort of, sort of live music venue where you'll hear me performing exclusively. That will be the only sort of local place that you can hear me perform. And you'll, you'll get to hear a lot of WOA artists and international bands that are not like commercially heard every day. You know, these are, these are bands that are actually hitting the charts, the billboard charts and all that like me, but uh, we'll be introducing them to you live, you know, so, uh, Stay tuned for Oliver Sean's place. We're still working on the name, but it's going to be somewhere in the Mediterranean, in the Riviera side, so stick around. 